My name is Sanjit and I'm studying in 10th standard. And uh, what is maths? Maths means this numbers or this algebra or this geometric figures. Yeah, okay. Uh, maths means all of this. Okay, now I'm taking a topic from geometry and I will explain to you. In geometry, I will explain the triangles, congruency of triangles and its properties. Okay, congruency of its triangle and its properties. So, what is congruency? And also, I will say my new congruency rule. That is nothing but congruency means the two triangles should be equal to each other in all point of view. Okay, what is that? It's uh, easy, right? Okay. At least maximum or minimum, uh, maximum six things should be required. All sides and angle, all angles. Uh, it's three things enough to prove that two triangles are congruent. Okay, let's do that. Uh, nothing but um, let's go for yes, 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 congruency rule first. Okay, side, side, side congruency rule is nothing but the two triangles are said to be congruent if all three sides of this triangle i mean three sides of this triangle should be equal to three sides of this triangle let's say triangle a b c and d e f okay here a b is equal to d e b c is equal to e f and c a is equal to f d its statement is pretty simple if three sides of one triangle is equal to the three sides of another triangle then the triangle is said to be congruent by yes 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 congruency now let me go for yes a s congruency rule yes a s congruency rule is pretty simple side angle side congruency rule means uh, let uh, let me prove with example here a b is equal to d e and b c is equal to e f and the angle b is equal to angle e side angle side side angle side its statement is also pretty simple if two sides and the included angle of one triangle should be equal to the two sides and the included angle of another triangle then the two triangles are said to be congruent by yes a s congruency rule if two triangles are congruent then all other remaining content will be equal to one another okay now let me go for next one that is a s a congruency rule that's also pretty simple angle side angle congruency rule here let me take angle that is uh, angle a is equal to angle d and angle b is equal to angle e and the side a b is equal to d e okay here also let's see angle side angle angle side angle its statement is also pretty simple if two angles and the included side of one triangle is equal to the two two angles and the included side of another triangle then the two triangles are said to be congruent by a s a congruency rule if these two triangles are congruent the remaining content will be equal to one another next one next next congruency rule is pretty simple it's only for right angle triangle how interesting is that you only see see right angle triangle means the angle should be one angle should be equal to 90 degrees in both the cases okay let's same name let us take triangle a b c and triangle d t f here, uh, let's make angle uh, uh, B as 90 degree. Here also angle E as 90 degree. Here, right angle hypotenuse side. Hypotenuse means, you know, the angle opposite to 90 degree is known as the hypotenuse. Okay. Here, A, B. Here, 90 degree, you know, angle B. Let's, uh, let's take that. Angle B is equal to angle E is equal to 90 degree. That is one character. I told three things are required minimum. No, it's necessary to prove two triangles are congruent. Okay, 90 degree. Angle B is equal to angle D is equal to angle B is equal to angle E is equal to 90 degree. Okay. Next, hypotenuse. What is hypotenuse here? Angle opposite to 90 degree C. It's, it's AC. Angle AC is equal to here DEF. DEF, right? And side AC equals to side DF. Yeah, it's hypotenuse. Next, let's come. Right angle hypotenuse side. Side means any side. You can, uh, two sides are left. AB and DC. Here. Here also DE and EF. Any one angle. Uh, let's take AB is equals to DF. 
Then two triangles are said to be congruent by RHS congruency. What is AS congruency? Congruency. That's pretty simple. Here, any two angles. Let's take angle A and angle B. Angle A is equal to angle D and angle B is equal to angle E. Okay? And angle, angle, finish. Now side. Which side we will take? We can take either of the sides. Why? Because uh, angle, angle, side. From here also it will become. From up or down also it will become. So let's take uh, BC. Okay? BC. Here also we have to save, take the same thing to prove. Here is EF. BC is equal to EF. Then the, these two triangles are said to be congruent by AAS congruency rule. Okay. This all will come in your textbook. Maybe has come already. All this is pretty simple. I thought. But now it comes my friend's new congruency rule. How interesting congruency rule. No one knows this congruency rule except me and my friend. What is the congruency rule? That congruency rule is nothing but IS congruency rule. Yeah, IS congruency rule. Isosceles side congruency rule. Yeah, it only applies for isosceles triangles. Let's take uh, two, uh, two isosceles triangle that is ABC and DEF. Here, AB is, e AB is equals to AC and also here DE is equals to DF. Here, one thing we must remember. Here, in one of these, means uh, AB is equals to AC and DE is equals to DF. Then, we can take any one side. Okay? We can take either AB or AC. Here, also either DE or DF. Okay? Uh, let's do it. What you know? Here, only one thing is required to prove that these two triangles are congruent. That is... Either of AB and either AB or AC, here A, uh, DE or DF should be equal. Means one of these sides should be equal to one of these sides. Let's take AB only. AB is equal to DE. Then these two triangles are congruent. Yeah, you are pretty much confused, right? How it how it's congruent? Yes, we told uh, this is a new congruency rule. It will... Uh, we can apply easily means no long processes as you know uh, proving congruence it will make lots of uh, steps here what you know if we uh, explain it means if we remove shortcut in long process if we go if two sides are equal okay if two sides are equal in one triangle then the opposite angles will be equal am i right yeah here also if two sides are equal then the opposite angles will be equal. Okay. Opposite angles will be equal. Uh, so what happened? Here are two sides. And the two angles. Okay. Uh, here are also two sides and two angles. Now see. Uh, here are also two angles. So these two angles will be equal. And these two sides are equal. So let's take angle C. And here angle B are equal. And AB and AC are equal. DA and DF are equal and angle E and angle F are equal. See, if, uh, see here, uh, if we explain it, if we uh, split it, ang angle C is equal to angle F, angle B is equal to angle uh, E and side AB is equal to side DE. What congruency rule it has become? AAS congruency rule. Here also AAS congruency rule. Then these two triangles are said to be a congruent by AAS congruency rule. But in simplification, if isosceles side congruency rule was came to exist, means it was included in your textbook, then it's pretty simple that if two isosceles triangles was given, means just we can do it that if one of the equal side of uh, one isosceles triangle is equal to one of the equal side of another isosceles triangle then these two triangles are congruent by is congruency rule this was my friends friends new new congruency rule so thank you for watching and if you like this vid video please like comment and also subscribe uh, subscribe to uh, psm 